check it out. So much cool stuff that I have to show you guys. And what I was thinking recently is a lot of times on our show, we show you guys stuff, but we don't get to show you guys in detail. So this channel is my excuse to show you guys stuff in more often fashion where I get to show you guys stuff in detail and go through things just without, you know, feeding the algorithm of go, 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 and just giving you guys some of the stuff. So let's begin with some stuff I picked up. We're going to keep it raw at really rad weekend. No edits. Wow. Okay, here I go. Check it out. First thing I picked up from the this weekend is these Nintendo Happy Meals. Now, I've had these before, but what makes this set cool is I only had two of them before previously. I picked them up a long time ago and I didn't have, you know, different uh, all the different variations. I didn't even really know there was four of them, but you can see them right here. There's Desert Land, there is Skyland, there is Pipe Land, and there is Island World. He's just an Island World. But these are so beautiful, so cool to look at, and so clean. I think I paid like 10 bucks each for them. It doesn't matter to me if that's high or low or whatever. It's just purely something I had to have. This next thing is so cool. I love bags. Bags are my thing. You guys know anything different, anything funky, anything weird, super rad. This is a Nintendo power holder, strictly made back in the day. Take this with you, la 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 la, cha la 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 la, around your, your house. There's nothing in here, by the way, to show you guys, other than the fact that you can just toss a stupid amount. I'd say you could probably squeeze like 40 issues or so into this thing and just carry it around, you know, as reading material. Uh, next thing, I got one of these back. Uh, it was a Simpsons hit and run promo hat, funny enough. Joe, my buddy Joe, bought it from me, said he didn't fit, and then he gave it back to me, and he's like, dude, just, just take it, no money needed it. Well, actually, his friend Tony did it, so super cool, super rad of them, and, and we'll see. It doesn't necessarily fit me, so maybe my wife will rock this. Ooh, the next things are really cool. Bought these, and I love them. I thought they were really cool and unique to show you guys. You might see them and just be like, hey, Punisher, who cares? Well, if you notice down here, it is THQ. This is from the GameCube release, and check it out right down here not for resale. So not for resale. That's really cool. And I got two of them right here. Um, I probably sell one, probably keep one. I think they are my size. And funny enough, uh, if you know me as a shirt guy, I will probably pass on that one and keep the one that has like the more worn in crackle look just because that's my thing. Uh, next thing right here is super cool. These are actually pretty pricey. These normally go in the range of like a hundred bucks. I'm keeping this one. Uh, Joe hooked me up with this one for 50 bucks. And back here it has the interact, you know, built in back there. That's what the I stands for. Uh, the I is interact. It's like a company that works with Nintendo to make products. This is a Nintendo 64 backpack and it is just so cool and so clean. I kind of, kind of got more excited than you would think I should. Uh, when you see something like this, well, of course it's closed like that, but uh, there's nothing special inside besides, you know, just your typical pockets and all that jazz. It'll, it'll keep you happy. It'll let you load up your Nintendo 64 back today. Toss it in there. I, I could throw in a Nintendo 64 just to show you. Also, Phoenix Resale is texting me like a madman right now. Chill, my guy. Got this from my buddy Retro Wolf, which is so cool. It's it's the history of all the different Happy Meal toys. So it's not Happy Meals themselves, but the toys. And again, keeping this video raw, I won't talk too long as I'm trying to find, I think it was like 96 or so, where it shows all the Mario Happy Meal toys. Can I find them? in the next few seconds. If not, I'm moving on. Five, four, three, two. Oh, there was Sonic the Hedgehog. That was cool enough. Right there. Oh, ooh, Sonic and Bobby's World. I remember these. Super cool gift from my amazing friend, Retro Wolf. Ooh, next, I bought this from Scott Squatch. Man, this is cool. Th these are a little pricey too. Ocarina of Time, little folder, but what it comes with, it's made to throw, bum, 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 Four cartridges in here, and apparently, when me and Scott were looking it up, Scott Squatch, uh, JHMDF, it is to put, there you go, Ocarina of Time promo cart and guide holder. So throw your guides in here, you know, your strategy guides, carts in there. Super cool. By the way, the padding on this thing absolutely is jank. There's like no actual padding on this thing. Next is another Nintendo 64 holder, but this one does hold six cartridges inside. Again, there is nothing fancy schmancy in here in any way, shape, or form. And uh, there it is. Just six holders, throw Nintendo 64 games and you got yourself a good holder. Um, a couple other things kind of up here. Uh, one of the coolest things I recently got from my buddy Edward Payson, if you guys knew, I was in a documentary called Rarity. 
super cool with AVGN. I mean, gosh, I never knew I'd be on a, a, a poster right there with AVGN, John Riggs, Hancock, and Riggsy Boy. Or no, Metal Jesus. Did I say him? I don't even know. But in here is the CD that shows. Look at this. Oh, baby. This is either, either the soundtrack or the actual movie itself. And in here, there's posters and all that different jazz. Again, shooting with one hand. I don't want to mess things up too much. The posters in here. The guide, which is really cool because this guide actually has all of us in here. You know, everybody's in there. Oh, there's me. Oh, Aaron Steepish, my real name. Don't tell me what I have a real name. My real name isn't real. Okay. Evil Dead, right here. Picked this up recently. So good. Evil Dead, Sam Raimi. Spider-Man animated, the ultimate face-off. Is this one? I thought the, the VHS was white on that one. Uh, these are sealed. Nothing too crazy, but they're sealed. Hop on Pop. Got these from my good buddy, Curtis. Mr. Bill's 20th anniversary. Oh, no. Who remembers Mr. Bill, by the way? That's not like a, a popular a popular thing. Looney Tunes back in action. Hey, I think Brandon Frazier is making a comeback right now. Good for him. Then we got Mortal Kombat, of course, and Halloween. Blockbuster Presents. That's why I wanted it. Honestly, why I wanted it. I think there's like a... Another Blockbuster logo on it? Yeah, that's right. There's also another uh, Blockbuster show right now on the internet. I started watching it. It's it's cool in the fact that they talk about uh, Blockbuster. Some of the actors I like, but it's kind of meh as far as the writing goes. It was kind of meh for me. But I watched like four episodes on an airplane. NES controller right here. My gosh, guys, I can't believe no edits. No cuts. Oh, I just almost choked around with spit. NES controller, Nintendo Entertainment System. This is for the mini, the classic edition. I play my Super Nintendo Mini all the friggin' fraggle time, so it doesn't hurt to have another one of these. I have an NES Mini as well. And Panzer Dragoon, right there, based on the hit video game. I'm not gonna lie, back in the day I passed up on this thing, They had or passed up on the actual game uh, for like 100 bucks. Big mistake, now looking forward, but hey, how are you supposed to know back then about prices? I didn't know this was a thing, but I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of, uh, you know, VHS and video game related VHS, so to find this one sealed, I had to pick it up, so super cool. I lied, this just came in as I was about to upload this footage onto my computer. Troll Warriors, I actually got this on Whatnot for a really good deal. No, definitely not a sponsor, but stinking beautiful. I love stuff like this, that's the less like, you know, that's more, a little more weird, a little more wacky. Let's say Sven leads the way to freedom with his rock and sock and power spear. Yo, we're talking about a freedom fighter here? That's my guy, it comes with a troll power tattoo as well. Bye, bye. Doggy butt. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If it's your first time watching, it is your first time watching because this is my secondary channel now where I'm just going to upload stuff raw and talk with you guys more in detail, a little bit more deeper behind the finds and the video games and all that stuff without, you know, feeding the algorithm of go, 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 go. So that's it. Speaking of algorithm, there's no time for you to click off. Bye.